everybody. I would like to show you a project today. It actually came about by another project I had planned, but we'll get to that one eventually. Today I'm going to show you how you can do your own embossed envelopes. And this is going to be using your Cricut machine and making a custom embossing folder for your cuddle bug. And there are no kits required. That's right, you don't have to buy a Cricut uh, kit for this. So I'm really excited about this. I can't take credit for it. While researching a project, I did come across this method, but I'm gonna show you how I did it step by step. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, what I did is I took a piece of white chipboard, and it's just standard chipboard that you can buy. I don't know the, uh, the thickness of it. You'll have to excuse me on that. I actually, this is a piece that I got for free. When I go and do enlargements at Costco, they always put this chipboard in, and so I seem to have a ton of it laying around, so I don't usually have to buy it. Um, but if you don't have something like that on hand, then just go ahead and order it. I know you can buy it from Joann's. Michael's doesn't seem to carry it in the stores, so, but I know um, Joann's does. And what I did is I cut a length that was four and a quarter inches wide by 11 and a half inches long. And next, using my score, I scored it right in the center at 5.75. Now, once you fold that up, that is the exact dimensions of a standard cuddle bug folder, embossing folder. And now using, um, sure cuts a lot, the SCAL software that I bought, um, I was able to lay out my design on, um, on the mat here. And what I did is I found a font that I liked, which was an L, and I flipped it backwards. And what I did is I found the center point of my envelope. And to find the center point here, I'll take this off the mat to show you. I just um, actually, here's, here it is folded in half. As I just put the um, the envelope top on the uh, embossing folder, and then I marked it and measured it and found out what the center point was, and then I transferred uh, that measurement over to my embossing folder, and so I just marked it and knew that it was approximately this location. And so I don't remember those measurements, I do apologize. But I found my center point here, and I put the initial that I wanted, and I had to make sure to flip it, because otherwise you're gonna have your monogram backwards. So make sure you flip it on your program. Now again, I use shortcuts a lot. You can use your design studio. And the reason I chose the shortcuts a lot, um, over the design studio is by using that program I had unlimited access to any and all fonts my computer had I wasn't limited to what cartridges I had and so you really I don't ever have to buy another cartridge again for an alphabet letter it's just always available on my computer so I went ahead on my SCAL program I laid out my design and I just told it to cut and I did a multi-cut of uh, two since I was going through chipboard. Now, for me, I didn't use a deep cut blade. I just used my regular blade, cut at, uh, at number six with the press, uh, pressure on maximum and the speed, I believe, at three. And once again, I did do a multi-cut of two. Now, once it cut it out, I put the letter here in the layout right here where it would have gone and I glued the back side of it which would have been the brown side and then carefully I folded over my um, embossing folder and just pressed on it where it would naturally go and because I glued the back of it it naturally stayed right where I needed it to be so then once I went ahead and I placed my envelope on and I closed it up I ran it through my cuddle bug using, I believe, just my regular um, 
B plate, and I did seem to have to use my C plate with it. Um, it wasn't quite um, enough thickness just using two B plates. But then when I got done, it came out beautifully. I was so excited. You can go ahead once again and hopefully see that. We seem to have a little bit of a shadow, but you can see the L there, and it just works perfect. So now you can make your own custom embossing folders anytime you want, with any design you want, just using your chipboard, your Cricut, and no kits needed. I'm so excited about this. If you have any more detailed questions, let me know. I know this was kind of a hard video probably to follow since I didn't actually show you step by step the actual process and I just kind of directed you through it. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I'll go ahead and try and explain it in further detail. Thanks so much. God bless. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.